Hello, and welcome to episode 7 of Westeros Craft Walks with your faithful host, Dutch Guard. Today we're going to be taking a look at Deep Den, the seat of House Lydon in the Westerlands. Uh, you can see the castle of Deep Den perched high atop the mountain here, um, and up there you can see the flags waving the colors of House Lydon. Um, so we're just going to walk through the town of Deep Den. And I'll tell you a little bit about the area. We are in the Westerlands, as I said, and we're in the mountainous area of the Westerlands, so you can see the peaks of some mountains around us here. Um, to be fair, most of the Westerlands is mountainous, and that is where the Lannisters and the Liddens and um, all of those houses in the Westerlands get their riches from, from the gold mines and the silver mines. Um, so you can see already we've got a, a really cool style for the Westerlands. It's pretty similar to uh, the Riverlands, except that we use some different blocks. We prefer to use the jungle plank textures for roofs, um, as well as uh, we've got this really cool unique block for the Westerlands, which is this sort of brick and wattle block. Um, we also use a great deal of sandstone in the Westerlands, just to sort of set it apart. Um, other than Dorne, the Westerlands is really the only area that uses um, so, uh, sandstone to this extent. So let's take a look in, in one of these houses. A nice little stove. Got a crate full of grain, little bed, um, what's down here? A oh, little garden, very nice. Um, so that up way, that way is the road to Deep Den, but first let's take a look around this area. I think there's a nice little pond here to do some fishing. Got some lovely lily pads, another cool feature of our launcher. Um, we've got big stables here, which I guess is for the town's use, so maybe also for the, uh, the castle's use. Um, Really nice, really big stables. Love good stables. Gotta put those horses somewhere, you know. Um, so now we're heading up this mountain path here. Uh, Deep Den is sort of perched on and inside the mountain. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. Basically got this lower part of the keep here, and up beyond there we've got the higher part of the keep. And uh, you'll see they're sort of connected by this uh, tunnel through the mountain. Uh, so here we are, we're already fairly high up. It's the town back there. Uh, so you can see the predominant use of sandstone. Uh, the Westerlands also use a pretty sort of square design, prefer square to round. Um, everything's quite stony and uses the sort of darker wood textures and a fair mix of other textures as well, such as you've got some of the darker daub and wattle there and this uh, brick and wattle as well. Um, got a well here, very nice. Uh, this looks like training yard for training all the young squires in the arts of combat. Uh, I've got a kitchen down here. I think this looks like a bathing area. I've got the baths here. Very nice. Um, and now we're going to head through this tunnel that I told you about. So this tunnel is probably created um, as the remnants of a, as part of a mine that used to be here. And then they decided to expand upwards out of the mountain and uh, build a second keep. Um, I'm not sure where this goes. Oh, I think this goes out onto a wall of that lower keep. We don't want to go that way. Let's keep heading up. Um, so you got all these little cool passages in the mine here. I think the dungeons are here. There's some torture cells there as well. I think, what's this? Oh, this looks like a cellar. Some big casks here full of wine or beer or whatever you like. Oh, excuse me, ale, not beer. There's <laughs> uh, another cellar for food. So really taking advantage of the natural landscape here for storage purposes. Uh, I've got a nice little plum tree here. Very tasty, although I myself am not a big fan of plums. All right, now we're up in the upper section of the keep. Uh, you can see there's lovely arch details here. I've got the colors of House Lydon down there again. The Actually, on the sigil of House Lydon, Lydon is a badger, which sort of goes with its name, Deep Den. And I think it was the reasoning behind the sort of half built into the mountain um, style of this castle. All right, I'm going to try and find the Great Hall here. That looks like it there. You can see the sigils of Baratheon and Lannister there, and that's because um, still uh, Joffrey is on the throne at this point in our server's timeline, and uh, that is the sigil of the ruling house of Westeros. So you can see those, those two sigils there in most of our builds. Uh, let's see if I can find my way up. I'm going to try and find the hotspots of the keep, so the more important, uh, the more important rooms. There we go, crossing a little balcony. 
looking over the Great Hall, you see a big hanging sigil of House Lydon. Um, I think they're quite a powerful house. There's, we don't have a lot of information on House Lydon, but um, I know that uh, in a few times they are mentioned in the books, they are uh, are with the Westland's army, um, and seems to have added a, a big number of men to the to the Lannister force. Um, I'm going to guess this is the Maester's quarters, uh, based on the high number of, of bookshelves in here. Uh, I may have mentioned it before um, that uh, people in Westeros they can't read. Really, the only people that can read are the high uh, highborn lords and um, and maesters who study to read, and uh, potentially septons as well. I'm not entirely sure um, how strict they are in reading. But um, basically, we've got these lovely book textures, but can't really use them too often. Um, you definitely won't find them in any lowborn house. Because they're too expensive, and they can't read them anyway. All right, so we're going to keep heading up this way. I think we're in the main tower of the keep now. You can see there's a nice little... Whoop, let me get my keys to work properly. A little view out into the Westlands Mountains there. Looking across the Lydon lands. Uh, let's keep heading up the stairs. We've got a nice little, looks like a war planning room. Tends to be a few of those. A big map of Westeros there. Hearth burning in the corner. Got a little armory here. Yeah, probably what this is. They have the tactics room. Um, let's keep finding the stairs here. These keeps tend to be pretty maze-like, but uh, I think I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with this keep, so I'm doing okay. Oh, I think we're at the top. Yeah, the top of the tower now. You can see the roof coming into a point there. Um, this must be the Lord's Chambers, then. Well, we've got a giant bed here with a beautiful little canopy with the linen colors. I think that's a portrait of the maiden up there. Um, who knows? Maybe the the wife of the Lord of Deep Den uh, is a devotee of the maiden. So let's head up here. Uh, so cool, we've got the windows wide open. Offering us a nice view of the town and where we started out. You can almost make out that uh, entrance to the town where we started at all the way down there. Um, so here we are, and uh, that's where I'm going to end the video for Deep Den. Really great example of the Westerland style, and I highly encourage you to take a look when you go join the server. Just type in slash Deep Den. Um, there are also some other great builds in the Westerlands, which I may eventually make videos for, such as uh, Silver Hill and... Um, uh, Feast Fires is also a really good one. So I highly encourage you to check those out. Uh, but this is just a little taste of the Westerlands. So if you like it, come on the server and check out some more. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.